Praise the Lord, dear friends. A new day, a new opportunity. Jesus has given each one of us to adore Him, to love Him, to worship Him. Let us come before the Lord. As the Word of God says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and He adds no sorrow with it. Let us this morning ask the blessings of our Lord Jesus Christ because in the blessed sacrament, He's truly present. He's truly present. Even though we might see a simple piece of bread, let us look at Him today with eyes of faith and let us today in this adoration experience His blessings, experience His graces, experience His power in our lives. Today as we are reflecting on the Eucharistic miracles, we have Deacon John among us. He will conduct the adoration and will pray specially for each one of us. My dear children and youth, I am glad to be with you this morning. God so loves His people that He takes the initiative to meet us as a friend. Scripture says, John 15 verse 13, it tells us, No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. Let us kneel down and welcome the Eucharistic Lord in our midst. Psalm chapter 46 verse 1 says, God is your refuge and our strength, a ever ready help in time of trouble. In times of our trouble, God is our help. God is our salvation. That is why let us come before the Eucharistic Lord as we are before Him. Let us surrender all of our problems, our struggles, our irritations because He is the one who will deliver us from all of our problems. He is the one who will bless us today. He is the one who will fill us with His graces. Come, let us kneel down before Him. Let us look at His face and surrender our hearts, our minds, our lives into His hands. More power, more power, more of you, more of you in my life. Let us bow down the Eucharistic Lord and say to Him once again, more power, more power, more of you, more of you in my life. More love, Lord Jesus. This morning I thank you for creating me in your own image and likeness. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking care of me, for blessing me, for filling me with your grace, for filling me with your blessing. Lord Jesus, I praise you. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I worship you. Let us raise our both hands and worship our God. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, Lord. With all of my I will worship you with all of my strength. For you are my God. For you are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. For you are my God. Let us sing it with faith to the Lord. You are my Lord. You are my God. You are my Lead us, guard us, 
guide us. Lord Jesus, we come before you. Lord Jesus, deliver us from all evil. Lord Jesus, we have come before you, Lord. Take care of us and I will worship you. Lord Jesus, we have come here with our problems, our irritations, our difficulties. Lord Jesus, we praise you. We worship you, Lord. You are my Savior. You are my healer. You are my redeemer. Oh Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, this day you bless us. This day deliver us from all of our afflictions. This day you deliver us from all of our problems. Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus, have mercy on our lives. Jesus, fill us with your spirit. For you are my God. You are my Lord. You are my you are my Lord. We praise you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. you are we adore you. We worship you. Psalms 51 verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, God, and you can you and right spirit within me. Lord Jesus, deliver us from every evil. Deliver us from our bondages. Deliver us, O oh Lord Jesus, from our bad habits. Lord Jesus, put into us a new and clean heart. Put a new and right spirit within us. Lord Jesus, mercy on us, O Lord. Lord Jesus, have mercy on our lives. Lord Jesus, help us to become holy. Help us to become holy just as you are holy. Deliver us from all kind of things. Can, can O Lord Jesus, take us away from you. O Lord, have mercy on our lives. Fill us with your grace. Fill us with your power. children and youth if I ask you one question who is your good friend there may be a definition of a friendship or a friend and the definition may vary from person to person and place to place as well and if we look into the friendship who is closer to you is not always the good friend and as we come before the Lord in the Eucharistic celebration we may experience that definition of a friendship because the Eucharistic Lord who comes in our midst who speaks to us who listens to us and who always makes a way for us and that is the reason why the Eucharist is called as the source and summit of Christian spirituality. Jesus gives himself to us in the Eucharist as spiritual nourishment because he loves us. Eucharist is the source of grace and the highest point of saving action. If we understand Eucharistic law, Eucharistic role in the Christian spirituality, the better we will be able to understand Christ's presence in the Eucharist. Yes, my dear friends, we experience Christ's presence in the Eucharist. It happened sometime back, 1400 before in Boxmere, 
Father Arnold Groen was celebrating Mass in St. Peter and Paul Church. His doubt of real presence in the consecrated spaces which transformed into blood and bubbled out of the chalice and splashing onto the corporal. Corporal is a piece of cloth that is kept on the altar when the consecration takes place on which body, on which bread and wine is kept. That is called the corporal. He was terrorized at the sight and asked God to forgive him because he was doubting the real presence of Christ's body and blood in that species, bread and wine. When he has already said the prayer, may the Spirit of God come down upon these gifts, that bread and wine is already transformed. Though it may look the same, the bread and wine, but it was transformed into the body and blood of Christ. And that priest who doubted, who was terrorized at suddenly looking at the splashing of the blood from the chalice he was consecrating. The blood that had fallen on the corporal collocated into the lump the size of a walnut because that blood which has fallen on the corporal, it became dried and it gave the shape of a walnut. And that piece is still present. Even today, one can see the blood which it has not changed at all over time. That it is not contaminated. Now it is so many years have passed on. The reliquary of the corporal and the blood is preserved to this day and the anniversary of the miracle is celebrated with an annual solemn procession. My dear friends, there are so many miracles, Eucharistic miracles that happen in this world to show that Jesus is present in the Eucharist and he is there with the people around because he himself has chosen the people who are treasured possession, whom God has already blessed them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. They are baptized and when they are baptized, they become the children of God. My dear friends, we many times we focus and sometimes also doubt that whether Jesus is present in the Eucharist. It is true that he has sacrificed his own life, not just to go in vain, but to save us. And that is the reason Eucharist is a salvation, because Jesus Christ has offered himself into the hands of the people and he has poured out his blood to save us. And that is the Eucharistic celebration. We may get many inspirations from the Eucharistic celebration, reading of the word of God, listening to the, to the sermons, and also a personal experience with God. This gives us a triumphant victory to believe in Jesus Christ that he is truly present and he has come to save us. Let us kneel down and receive his blessing at this time that he is close to us, he is with us, he is saving us and he is also forgiving us. Whatever the sins may be, whatever the wrong we may have done, he is always there to save us. And that is the reason why we call Eucharist is the, is the salvation who has come into this world to save us. Let us kneel down and bow down our heads for the final blessing. Ooh, sacrament, 
My dear children and youth, we have just reflected upon the Eucharist is the source of salvation. Jesus has come into, the, into our life and he has touched our life and he has saved us. And let us take homework for this day. Psalm 138 verse 3 says, When I cried out, you answered, you strengthened my spirit. Let us reflect on this word of God, how God is present in our life, how he saves us, how he strengthened us, and how he answered us. I wish you all a happy, blessed day. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Today, 29th of June, we celebrate the feast of St. Peter and Paul. Wishing you all a very happy feast. The PDF for the Eucharistic Miracle today is in the description box below. Kindly click on the link and share it to your friends. Also, do share the link of this video to others. May God bless you all continually.